Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to Readings. <laughs> Maximus playing with his ball. <laughs> welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, new subscribers. So nice to have you here with me. Pisces, your daily reading. I'm kind of late. I'm kind of late. Let's make it for tomorrow. Pisces, what's going to happen tomorrow? Where are we going? We're going to the Pisces cards. Pisces cards. Sent to me from Australia. Pisces. Tomorrow's reading. Spirit. Yep, Spirit's in the room. Pisces is in the room. Let's go. Spirit. Pisces. Let's get her on. Let's get her done. Pisces, your reading, your daily reading for tomorrow. I could be picking up on a marriage here. There's a great possibility, Pisces, that you're not grieving so much for this passion. Or was it passion? Pisces. Spirit. Spirit's talking here. I don't think this was a marriage. Could have been first card out, marriage card, four of wands. But spirit saying, overlook it. Overlook it. And so we overlook it. Because there's something bigger happening here. There's a great possibility here with the star card, Pisces. I think you've been doing some work on you. I think... I think that you're not... What you, I'm not saying that you don't think of this person, because I feel you are. It's almost like when I see passion and, and not looking back at it and leaving, it's almost like, it's almost like Pisces, I feel that you're, you're going to have to give me a minute to find the words. I can hear it, but to hear it in, in, in a different plane and then to try to put it into this plane, here's what I'm saying. Let me give you an example. If I was to fall in love and I would think this is the greatest of, of loves, I, I'm very excited, I'm so happy with this love. And then to look and turn and look at it and say, wait a minute, what the hell? What, was I, what the hell was I thinking when I thought this was love? It's 
kind of what I'm picking up here. Pisces almost went with the, the star, the star. Some sort of knowing, uh, ascension, miracles, something. But I don't see the miracle as being loved. I see the miracle as being able to look at something that you thought you truly, truly needed. And kind of coming to the realization, looking at the two cups right behind you, the two full cups of blessings right directly behind you, and coming to the realization What was I thinking? Why did I let someone do this to me? This is what I've got. Looking back and saying to yourself, it's a great possibility that this wasn't love, that this wasn't what I was expecting with marriage. This wasn't love. What, what was this great possibility that it might have just been passion? And it got into me head, and I got stuck. I, I thought the love was passion. This could... My God, Spirit. This could be somebody that has been alone for a while. And then when somebody came, they mistook passion for love. And, and I really do feel... I really do feel that you probably might have lost your head over this and now seeing the two cups behind you and walking away from this is what I'm saying. Wow, this is crazy stuff. But what I have is somebody that was deceptive here is when I got the deception card in the reverse, what is this? Regret. Regret. Now, Pisces. This is Pisces. <laughs> this is Pisces. I, I feel it. It's just like I can feel these cards in my hand. This is Pisces. Did I mistake this passionate encounter? For love. Seeing the two cups behind you full of blessings, there's some kind of great freaking awakening in this love story here. There is a great awakening in this story of passion. What is wanting to work on this deception, on this? What is wanting to work on this regret? This is Pisces. Pisces. No, at one time, it was deception. But in the reverse, it's not deception any longer. It's regret. Pisces, wanting to work on the regret. Now, don't be beating yourself up because you got into something that you now you're feeling really bad about yourself. Don't do that. There's some kind of regret here. And wanting to work on this regret, wanting to work on it because you're seeing something else. You're seeing two cups instead of three broken cups. This is a Pisces who is seeing the true, exactly what happened, exactly what happened. This is Pisces is ready to move on. There is no doubt. The bastard will comes in. Okay. Could be dealing with a Taurus here. If it's resonating, you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aquarius. The bastard is here. The bastard is telling me that you have not been recognizing, have not been recognizing someone here. Someone who portrays himself to be an emperor. Now not seeing them as the passion that you thought they were.
but feeling the regret and trying to work on the regret within yourself. Not even giving any attention, not putting any spotlight or focus on this person, but putting the spotlight and focus on you. Oh my God. This is a first. This is a first. Message comes. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to put out something on Teacher's Corner about it. is it toxic? Is your relationship toxic? I, I really think you should watch it. it I th think it's going to be pretty good. But until tomorrow, this is for tomorrow's read too, but there's something here that, and I say it in tomorrow's teacher's corner, that once you start to stand up and walk away, something swings around. It always freaking happens. It always, it was proven to me. I, I was feeling better and all of a sudden, ding, text message. There they are. And I was feeling better walking away, doing really good. This is what I'm picking up for this Pisces. Looking at the situation and more or less saying to yourself, what happened to me? What overcame me? What was I thinking? I thought that this person was my emperor, my empress. Come on, guys, swing it around. My emperor, my empress. Not recognizing it now. Letting it go. Letting it go. What was I thinking? The only thing I can think is that maybe this is a Pisces who has spent quite a bit of time by themselves. And then when passion came, they mistook. They misread. But I do see you heading the other way. And when you do, I got a message coming in for you. And it's not from someone who is your wish fulfillment. It is not. It is from the one here that you're analyzing and analyzing yourself. Don't beat yourself up. It is not a wish fulfillment, but I do see that as you move away, they come closer. And the thing is, is that they don't just come, they run. And that is in tomorrow's teacher's corner also. That is the craziest thing. So what I got is the anxiety. I can't wait. This is someone who's running. They're running to you now. Pisces walking away. Pisces eyes are opening, taking off those rose-colored glasses. There is some kind of sight here. Second sight, whatever you want to call it, right there. Star. Pisces, you are seeing things that you didn't see before. And you're seeing things in yourself. Like, why did I why did I go through this? Why, why did I let this person do this to me? Why did I let this person do this to me? Just no communication. This is cut off. This is Done did. This, this is block. Can't get through. Can't get through. Walls down. Apology coming in. Walls down. Of course. Of course. Like I said before, you walk, they run. You walk away, they run to your words. It happens every freaking time. Just about every time it'll happen. This is what the bastard was saying. Someone that you have not been recognizing for a while. 
Someone who is not your wish fulfillment, and you know that, you know that, is all of a sudden very, very anxious to come and talk to you. Very, very anxious. I see no conversation. They can't reach you. I see letting down guard and apology on its way. Pisces, I'll be damned. Darling, I'll be damned. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, <laughs> all the time you thought they had the power over you, in the reverse, bam, who's got the power? Who's got the freaking power? Yeah, you. That's right. Walls coming down. Obnoxiousness. Out of sight. Apology coming in. Can't reach you. All of a sudden, becoming as weak as a little lamb. Suddenly, out of the blue, weak as a lamb. Defense goes down. Not standing in their power anymore. Not standing up. Not five of swords in the reverse. In the reverse. Not being obnoxious anymore. Not being, my God, not, not holding up the sword and being defensive for themselves. Not being stubborn. This person's running. They are running to you because they cannot get through and they are worried to death. Look at this. Anxiety. I gotta go. Gotta go now. This this is a patience card. There's patience. I, I gotta go. I gotta go now. Bye. Remember, Pisces. Remember all the work you've done here because this is not, in the reverse, this is not your wish fulfillment. You know it. You're on your way. But this person, come hell or high water, is on their way fast. Pisces walking away. Pisces walking away. Offer. Standing at the crossroads. There's no doubt which path they're taking. There is no doubt here whatsoever. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Pisces. Damn. Damn, darling. Damn, this person is messed. This person is messed. Nine of hammers coming down on top of them. No leap will be taken. No leap will be taken. Shutting her down. No leap taken here. This is a Pisces who sees what? Two full cups right behind me. God damn it, I'm picking those cups up. I'm not sitting around here grieving any longer. This is a Pisces awakening to what the hell happened. Holy crap, this is very, very, very exciting. This is very exciting. Pisces walking away. You can't make it up. All the cards say the same thing. They come. They're anxious. They're, they're like freaking out. They want to talk to you. In the reverse, blocked. Got to put that apology in there for Pisces. Letting down all their guard, all their defenses. Coming in meek. Meek like a lamb. Dropping the lion attitude, lion attitude, dropping it. I'll be damned. Let's pull a couple more cards. Spirit says stop, leave it where it is. If the next card doesn't match up with the reading, it is definitely the end of this reading. Bam. Another card. Another card. Another card. This is done. This is done. Oh my God, are they ever sad about this? Pisces, this is someone who might have loved you. It might have been more than passion. They might have loved you. I 
I don't see the leap, but I'm seeing the leap elsewhere. I don't think there's someone else, but I think Pisces knows that there is probably something else. Of course there's something else. What the hell is this? I see your person. Nine hammers coming down on top of this person. Very anxious, upset. No leap to be taken. That's a definitely new. But there's another leap being taken here. Which kind of freaked me out. No leap and then a leap. There's another leap being taken here. A leap that is not in nightmaric conditions. With the nightmare card beside the leap in the reverse. Another leap will be taken. Pisces. Another leap will be taken but not into a nightmare. I don't know what happened here. It must have been brutal. Not into a nightmare, but into what? My God. Pisces. Options. Pisces knows. Look at this. Two cups behind me. I'm picking them up and I'm running with them. I got options. I don't have to put up with this nightmare. Look at this. This is celebration. This is freedom. This is celebration. This is, this is love. This is probably love for oneself, but there's great, great freedom of spirit here. I'm not taking the leap with you. I got you blocked. This is someone who's obviously coming face to face with you because they have to. Great anxiety here. Can't wait. Got to talk to you. I don't know, Pisces, if you've been seeing someone else, but maybe you've got your eye on someone else and, and, and now you're starting to feel that wonderful feeling again. Or maybe it's just, I'm doing me. I'm going to love me. Releasing the nightmare. Pisces taking the leap into releasing the nightmare. Realizing that you have options, and and this is like three people dancing. This this is good times. Spirit, I need another card. Where are they? I'm gonna do another card. I'm not supposed to. Spirit told me to stop five cards ago. But I need another card. Look at this. Bam, bam. Security, security. Damn. Options, happiness, security, releasing a nightmare, taking the leap into that. Refusing the leap to go back, taking the leap into something in the future. What is it? Pisces, you got a true soulmate coming in. Spirit, why would you want me to stop reading that? You got a true soulmate coming in here. Someone who feels that you are just damn tickety-boo, darling. Tickety-boo. It's going to bring you healing. Let's go with the sun card here. It's going to bring you healing, well-being, wealth. Bam! Right there. Ten freaking cups. Real estate. House. Home. I don't know how far into the future this is. But if this is happening now, it's only a matter of time. That after they come, and I see you saying, no, I'm not taking the leap backwards. I'm going forward. What do I see when you take the leap forward? The loss of a nightmare. Options. Celebration. Security. A brand new full soulmate. Full soulmate. Not, not whatever this was. Soulmate. Someone who really adores you. They think you're tickety-boo. They adore you. Healing. Sun card. Ten of cups. 
Yeah, I went too far. Okay. Stop. Spirit told me to stop a long time ago. When it starts to switch, stop. Wow. Amazing, amazing freaking reading. Pisces, what is this? What is this gigantic coin being handed to you by the divine? What is this freaking coin? What is this? Was it someone that you wanted to marry or move in with? Someone you thought you were going to spend your life with? And now, wondering. You did wonder. Which card? You did wonder. Oh, I miss him. I, I grieved. I went into the tower. Now, seeing the two full cups behind you and looking back and understanding understanding the universe, understanding what this was. What was I thinking? Why did I do this? Walking away. The only thing I don't like, but I do like, is that you're working on it. I do feel with the regret. I feel you might be beating yourself up a little bit. Things that might have been said, things that might have been done. Who cares? It's in the past. It's done. It's over. Let regret go. Own it. Accept it. Throw it away. Work on it. Working on the regret. Working on the on the regret. Self-love. <laughs> and then somebody goes crazy. Somebody that is not a wish fulfillment. Somebody who is passionate, wants to talk to you. Somebody you once thought was your emperor, empress. Somebody all of a sudden has to speak to you urgently. Freaking urgently. Can't wait. No conversation coming in. Can't get in touch with you. But they got to talk. They want to bring some emotion. They would say, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. It's just freaking amazing here. Letting down walls all the time. All the freaking time. This, and Pisces, this Pisces sees it all the time thinking that they had the power. And look at them now. Look at them now. The whole freaking time you had the power. Of course you did. Walls going down, not being so damn obnoxious. Not, not being so feisty and, and ornery. Offer coming in. All of a sudden, ten hammers hitting this person in the head. All freaking out. No leap. But then a whole different leap. It's freaking amazing. The new leap is absolutely amazing. And where is this new leap? In you. Where is this new leap? In you. You've been talking to the divine, the divine talking to you. Somebody's talking to the divine. Somebody is seeing something they did not see before. Somebody's questioning themselves. Was it just sex? Was it just sex? I'm not looking back anymore. I'm taking those two cups. I'm freaking believable. I am like just all goose pumply. The energy is just tingling all over me. Aquarius. Taurus. All signs here. Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. All signs here, though. Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, stand out. Friggin' incredible, incredible reading. Incredible reading. Namaste, Pisces. <laughs> 